the most important thing is to realize that diabetes is a serious chronic disease uh, that can have um, pretty dire health consequences if not well managed. But on the other hand, um, when diabetes is well managed, um, people with diabetes can greatly reduce their risk for some of those health consequences. But the important thing to remember is that you're not going to be managing diabetes if you don't know that you have it. So the key is for everyone to get tested so they know whether or not they have diabetes. We know that there are over 29 million people in the United States who have diabetes, and over a quarter of them do not know that they have it. So those are the people who are really at high risk for some of the health consequences such as heart disease, kidney disease, even amputations and blindness. So there are serious health consequences, and if you don't know that you have the disease, you're not going to be testing your blood glucose, you're not going to be doing some of the lifestyle things that you need to be doing to manage it. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin are destroyed. So there is no insulin. People with type 1 have to have an external form of insulin to survive. Type 2 diabetes is a disease also of high blood glucose, but in which uh, insulin is either not produced in sufficient quantity or the insulin that is produced uh, doesn't work properly. We never used to hear about children being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and that's why type 2 used to be called adult onset, type 1 used to be called juvenile onset, because we see type 1 uh, in children. But now, um, probably associated with the increase in obesity and extreme obesity in young children, there are physicians who are seeing children as young as seven, eight years old with type 2 diabetes and that was unheard of uh, not that many years ago. For more information about diabetes, please visit Solutions for Your Life.